Hey YouTube, uh, I just want to do a quick video here on uh, my uh, hybrid solar and wind system. Um, I have uh, wired up some new things here. Um, over here, um, I've got these transfer switches, and I'm going to post a video on how to wire these up. But I've got these two transfer switches. This one controls the flow of my solar. So in position one, it'll go to the battery bank. Uh, in position two, it'll go directly to my grid tie inverter and uh, feed my house directly and, you know, reduce my electricity bill directly. Um, so right now we're in position one uh, to the battery. This switch here I just finished up wiring. And this does the same thing, but it does it for my wind. So right now in position one, we're charging batteries. Um, and if I go position two, it'll feed this other grid tie, plug-in grid tie inverter for the wind and uh, directly uh, reduce my electric bill. So let's just kind of demonstrate. So here we're in uh, position one on the solar. I'm, gonna, I'm in the battery mode, so now I'm going to flip this over um, and we'll see, we'll see the, uh, here let me clear that up, we'll see the um, power change directly to the grid tie. There's not much power right now at this time of the day off these three panels. But we'll let that creep up. And that's what we're producing right now. It's still ticking upward. Maybe still 100 watts at this time. I don't know. So anyway, um, now we got the same thing here. We're going to do this with the wind. Right now our wind's going to the batteries. I'm going to flip this. And we're going to send it to this plug-in grid tie inverter. And you'll see up here, these are the watts that are coming in off the wind. Uh, and I'll let that kick up. We've been we had some good winds so far today, although not much is happening right now. But uh, I've been averaging probably 50 watts an hour today. Yeah, it's starting to kick up there. So anyway, now we, we're able to direct where we send this. Um, I can also go and position um, one and two, which would kind of do both. Part of the load will go to the grid tie inverters, and part of the load will go to my battery bank um, and uh, charge my batteries. Um, let's see, what else? Um, I also have rigged up the, this transfer switch for the wind. And again, I'll have a video to show how to install this so that <clears throat> if I go into position one, which I'm going to do now, send it to the battery, and I'll do the same thing with the solar for now because I need to charge my batteries anyway. So I'm going to send it to the battery. So what this is going to do with the wind is it's going to first charge my batteries. When my batteries are completely charged, it will then take that excess load and through this relay, it's going to divert that back into my plug-in grid tie inverter. So that way, if I, I kept it in this mode, it'll always charge my batteries first. Once they're topped off, everything else that's produced will go automatically to the grid tie inverter. So that's how I've set this up. Now you'll notice that this grid tie inverter, um, in case this were to fail as a secondary measure, um, I have this dump load going to this bank of resistors over here to burn it off. But it will only go there if, um, if the batteries were fully charged and it was diverted and this wasn't working. Or if I was in position two, just going straight to my grid tie, and for whatever reason this thing failed, then that, that load will then be diverted from here to my bank of resistors. You only do this with wind, by the way. You don't do this with solar. Because wind always has to be spinning under a load or you can um, burn out your, P your, your alternator, your PMA. Um, so this allows that, that generator, that wind generator, to continue to make power, um, except instead we're going to just dump that excess power to the bank of resistors.